Right guys, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all keeping safe. Welcome back to another weekly vendor reset video and we're going to get straight into this one this week. Let's see what we've got. So to start off with, we've got the Grudge, which has got Perfect Vindictive, which isn't actually a bad talent. It's got SMG damage, crit chance and rate of fire. So yeah, there's that one. we got an Org A3P with Killer. Uh, accuracy on there is one of the attributes. So uh, we've got a Foul SA58 Power. It's one of my favourite assault rifles in the game actually. With strained assault rifle damage, health damage, headshot damage. We've got a D50 with close and personal. It's got pistol damage and swap speed. Badger tough backpack with armor, crit chance, headshot damage, safeguard. Overlord chest piece with obliterate. Obliterate still being one of the kind of best uh, damage dealing talents in the game. This one's got explosive resistance on there though, so you don't really want that. So overall, this isn't a particularly good piece of gear. 4.4% uh, crit chance mod. 4.9% damage reduction for the drone, 4.3% burn damage for turret, and then 4.2% skill haste for sticky. So let's move on to the clan vendor. Clan vendor time. We've got the Caesar's Guard, which is the um, Empress, uh, the new Empress piece of gear, the named chess piece with perfectly skilled. This has got skill haste and crit damage. Uh, I'd highly recommend you pick this up if you're in need of a good skill, uh, if you, you're in need of a, of this piece, and also you're in need of a, of a chess piece with... Uh, Skilled on it, or perfectly skilled, this is a really good uh, talent for skill builds. Ongoing directive backpack with health and weapon damage, hardwired backpack with weapon handling. Eclipse gloves with armor regen. We've got a T821, uh, the SMG, with SMG damage uh, crit chance at 21%, so maximum, with headshot damage, but it's got ranger on there, so overall, probably not worth picking up. Uh, we've got another org here with reformation. we got a Yao piece of gear with armor regen, kinetic momentum, uh, armor and hazard protection. So this might actually be worth picking up. Um, it's got kinetic momentum doesn't really work with this piece of gear, I'll be honest. But it is Yao, and uh, you know y y this doesn't often come around in DZ vendor uh, in normal vendors. It's normally in the DZ. Uh, Paratrooper SVD moving on P90 with perpetuation. Douglas and Harden chest piece with skilled. 511 gloves max health. On there we got armor and skill haste, so that can work in a piece of gear for sure. Um, 16,500 armor on kill mod, 4.3% uh, uh, radius for the mines, 4.3% deflected damage for shield, and then 6.2% blind effect duration. So if anything, you want to pick up maybe this Yao gear, but actually you probably just want to get the Caesar's guard piece. This is going to be uh, probably the best piece here, so let's move on to the next vendor, guys. Okay, so theater settlement, we've got Baker's Dozen again with uh, rifle damage, crit damage, and crit chance. So this is probably worth picking up with perfect lucky shot. SESG 12 with uh, max damage to targets out of cover at 10%. We've got strain, shotgun damage, damage to armor. Again, this is probably worth picking up if you're in need of a good SASG 12. We've got a Lover C with lucky shot on there when stability. Alps Summit gloves with skill damage, armor regen. Uh, we've got a group of somber knee pads with crit damage, weapon damage, health. All of those attributes are really low. We've also got um, almost 16,000 armor on kill mod. There's a lot of armor on kill mods. We don't normally, um, not often we see those. 4.2% damage to the mines, 4.2% active regeneration for shield, 8% speed for firefly, and then 6% health for decoy. So really the best pickup from here is going to be Baker's Dozen, guys. Let's move on to the next one. So the campus settlement, we got Scalpel uh, with future perfection, mag size, headshot damage, marks and rifle damage. Unfortunately, the attributes there are just not really good enough for this. Uh, custom M44 with Optimist. Uh, we got a Negev here with close and personal, crit chance, damage targets out of cover, and LMG damage that can work in a build. The negative is a pretty good weapon, uh, even up uh, up up close uh, along with like the MG5. Golden gear mask with armor, health, headshot damage. Fenris holster with weapon damage, headshot damage, and status effects. They got 15.8% repair skills mod, 4.2% duration for chem, 4% range for hive, 6.3% cone size for pulse. And then 4.2% duration for trap. So really not anything here. Let's move on. All right, DZ West. We've got the Everlasting uh, Glaze with perfect perpetuation. And it's got magazine size on there as an attribute, so not worth picking up that one. KSG Shotgun with Eyeless Military MK17 with in sync and reload speed. So again, not worth that one. Tip of the Spear Gloves, weapon damage, status effects, ongoing directive knee pads, weapon damage, hazard protection. Uh, Ariola Holdings gloves with uh, weapon damage, weapon hand, and skill damage. All of these rolls seem to be really low. Uh, we got Golden Gear knee pads with armor, armor regen, and hazard protection. 8.6% bleed resistance mod, plus one cluster mines, 4.1% deflected damage for the sh uh, shield, 
8.3% speed for Firefly and then 6% health for Decoy. So let's move on to the next DZ vendor. That's not really any good. DZ South. We've got the Ferocious Calm with Perfect Overwatch. It's got Weapon Damage, Explosive Resistance and Crit Chance. I've never actually... I don't think I've ever seen this chess piece before. Okay. Um, well, there it is. <laughs> MP5N with SMG damage, crit chance, damage to, our, uh, damage to armor with fast hands. A P416 with uh, assault rifle damage, half damage, damage to armor, and strained. We got an M1911 pistol, Asus and 8's backpack with crit damage on there and weapon damage. Eclipse uh, protocol chest piece with status effects. We got a 511 backpack with uh, armor. Armor regen and skill. Hey, Sokolov chest piece with intimidate with weapon damage, crit chance, and headshot damage. So that's actually, again, a pretty good pickup if you're in need of Sokolov concern in terms of a chest piece with full red rolls. That's definitely worth uh, picking up. 7.6% headshot damage mod, 6.3% deflect duration, 6.1% uh, duration for the uh, turret, and then 5% blast radius for the sticky there. So Sokolov concern, worth picking up, I think. Ferocious Calm, a little bit surprised by this one because I don't think I've ever seen this piece of gear before. Um, so definitely worth picking this one up. I'm, I'm going to have to go into the Dark Zone to get this piece of gear. Moving on. Alright, so coming up to the DZ East, and I just wanted to mention, guys, that Perfect Overwatch. Overwatch in general, I think, is a really good talent for skill builds, if, if I remember it correctly. Um, so it really doesn't make much sense to be on Fenris. But anyway, let's move on to the last DZ vendor. We've got Claws out again. Melee damage. Pistol damage and status effects. This is kind of the perfect roll. So, yeah, worth picking up if you haven't already. Uh, MK20. Um, yeah, not worth that one. That, look at that Marshall Rifle damage at 4.8%. Um, L86 with Bread Basket. We've got uh, Negotiator's Dilemma Mask with skill damage. Negotiator's Dilemma Holster with uh, weapon damage, headshot damage. Golden Gear Mask with skill damage, uh, armor, and health. Wyvern Wear Holster with status effects. And health, so that could be used in a build for sure. 15.8% repair skills mod, 6.3% burn strength, 4 repair charges for hive, 6.4% cone size for pulse, and then 5.7% duration for trap. So, claws out. If you haven't got it over the last couple of weeks, then you can pick it up this week. Let's go to New York now. Alright, so in New York, we've got uh, an MP5ST with an uh, unwavering RPK with spike. ACS-12 with Spike as well, uh, 586 Magnum with Ignited, none of this stuff's any good. Fenris uh, chest piece with Empathetic Resolve, moving on, Balson Armory Gloves with Armor, Crit Damage and Armor Regen. Ariada Holdings Holster, not particularly good pick up that one, 8.4% uh, skill duration mod, 8.2% skill duration mod, 6% uh, duration for turrets, plus 4 stim charges, and then 5.9% uh, duration for the trap and i'm going to say it as i do in pretty much every video i'm going to say it again here i really wish the devs would consider putting named items and stuff like that in new york as they do with the other vendors lastly benitez mp7 with ranger moving on uh negev with lmg damage uh damage targets out of cover magazine size perpetuation lightweight m4 with sadist um we got a pf45 pistol with fast hands 511 uh, chest piece with Overwatch. Very low rolls on all of that though. Petrov with weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage. That could pr probably work. Uh, Sokolov uh, holster with headshot damage, crit chance, weapon damage. Again, could work, but just these rolls are just way too low. 10.3% crit damage mod. 16.3% uh, in uh, incoming repairs. 4.1% damage uh, for the turret. 14.7% uh, health for pulse. And then 5.9% duration for... Uh, trap and as I was saying before when it comes to uh, Overwatch, it's really good for weapon and skill damage specifically skill damage when you're staying in cover and So it doesn't really make much sense for me to put it on uh, somewhat like Fenris um, so I would like the devs to change that but um, Definitely worth picking up that perfect Overwatch Fenris chess piece just because I've never actually seen it drop anywhere I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it. We've also got Baker's Dozen this week, and we've got Claws out. So that's it for this week's uh, video, guys, in terms of, um, in terms of vendor reset. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and until the next one, epic out.